Welcome back to it. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso. We are still live on SABC3. It's a beautiful Thursday. Thank you so much for choosing to wake up with us, starting your Monday or Thursday, rather, your morning off with us on a Feel Good type of note. When you hear the tune, you know it's time to check in on what's happening in the world of tech. Tato, what's happening? Okay, now, hear how it goes. Now, Raytheon has delivered the first anti-drone buggy to the US Air Force. Um, just over a year after it introduced the technology, um, it's highly energy laser system mounted to a small all-terrain vehicle which uses electro-optical um, sensors to detect the track drones. Mm. Now, what's most interesting is that after it identifies and also tracks the unwelcome flying device, it then neutralizes it and its laser in a process that takes a few seconds. Now, the Air Force received the anti-drone system earlier this year and will deploy it overseas for a year-long experiment. Mm. Now, it will train operators on how to use the system while also testing how we Effective it is in the real world conditions. Mm. And then, according to the Raytheon founder, five years ago, f few people worried about the drone threat. And then now we hear that about tracks, or rather, the in uh, yeah, yeah, the tracks in all time. Mm. So, um, their customers saw this coming and also asked them to deliver. To also to, de to develop rather a ready now counter in the UAS capability. Mm. Now they also did that by going from draw the drawing board to deliver in less than 24 months. So sure, they're always working so hard, these guys. Definitely, all the time. There is no stopping. That's interesting because on the other end, SpaceX are coming out and saying that they want to bring fast, affordable internet to people around the world with their Starlink project. Now they've already started a constellation of the small satellites in orbit that connect and communicate in order to deliver internet across the world without the need to lay massive, expensive undersea cables, which is oh. obviously a giant leap, right? Yes, now, yes. Elon Musk, SpaceX CEO, has just announced it's functioning by sending the first tweet from the internet con connection, rather, listen to this, internet connection, first tweet that came out of there, supplied by the system, okay. which is sure. just groundbreaking. Wow. Uh, it marks a major step in the implementation of this ambitious project. Now, since the Starlink satellites are very small in comparison with usual telecom satellites, SpaceX piggybacks off uh, demand from their customers for launches and stores their satellites alongside, uh, uh, obviously at no additional cost to themselves. So they're doing really well in that regard. Mm. But if they get more customer launches in the foreseeable future, they can launch their own satellites quicker than expected, which is what they're hoping for with increased demand from customers. The world sure. is changing. Wow, it really is. And the world is you changing. can obviously see that it's all about the customers. You know, the mm. more they increase, then chances of them really doing it, it's going to be um, really high. So, yeah, yeah so I true. guess that's all we have for Tag News. Yeah, that's and it. And tell us what you also think about what we have for you today. Get an insurance quote and stand a chance to win one of six Samsung S10 smartphones. Simply SMS the keyword INSURE to 30788 for a callback and a quote and you could be a winner.